Well, why do we need tests to identify a suboptimal effort? Well, it turns out we're not good at it, except in really extreme cases. And in extreme cases, it's obvious to everybody. But the extreme cases are rare. We need actuarial or empirical help. And psychometric approaches to validity assessment were developed due to the limited accuracy of our clinical judgments. For decades, clinicians thought children and adolescents didn't do much of this, and if they did do it, they basically all were extreme cases, and we just know. We had a lot of confidence in our ability to detect that. But it turns out we're not. And I want to caution you if you're a parent and you say, well, I've raised kids. <laughs> Jeez, I've got teenagers. And I know when my teenager lies to me. I know their tell. It's like playing poker. If you play poker with someone long enough, you'll find a way to figure out when they're bluffing by their behavior. And if you are around a child long enough and interact with them over a period of years, you will become very good at detecting when that child or adolescent is deceiving you. But that's not how clinicians operate. We don't get to hang out with those kids for years. So I just want to warn all of you who are in the audience today who are also parents that because you're really good at knowing when your son or daughter is not being honest with you does not mean you're good at knowing when another child or adolescent is not being honest with you or doing their best when you only see them a few times. So we need actuarial empirical help.